And yes, I'm going to play it again because that's what I want to do. Hey, y'all. Welcome to Disclaimer. Look good Friday. Y'all, this is going to be one of them nights I'm going to be running my mouth. This is going to be one video of three, maybe five. We'll see. But Disclaimer, y'all, I've been sitting here for over an hour trying to get my lighting right. You guys know iPod. Yeah, my iPod. This is what I'm recording from. The bum not come. But as you can see, the light, I don't want to brighten you guys. So if I turn the lights off and on, you know, hey. But anyway, y'all, oh my God, I don't know where to start. This video is supposed to be for Michelle, Michelle Collins. Hey, girl, I got your, um, I got your message on a week ago on the video I did a week ago about, um, about going to the desktop and all of that stuff. And I have been thinking about you ever since then. I got some notes and stuff here yes I have some old notes here y'all I apologize for the light I'm trying to keep my head still but I'm talking about my hands up on another video because this is for Michelle so as you can see I came on putting my lighters up putting my lighter up don't want to bring your fingernail up and stuff but yeah y'all um got my drink got my hookah Now I'm already in five minutes. So I wanted to come on and make sure I do this one first because the reason I was playing that song is because it's one of my favorite songs from Lil' Kim. If I'm not mistaken, that was the, like that was the last CD she made before she went to jail. It is. And 
from to my knowledge, unless it's on iTunes or, or something, I don't think she made another CD since she got out, and that's when everything just started going south with her face and stuff, but that's another video, y'all. It is what it is, but she is still one of my favorite female rappers, whatever you want to call it, whatever, I know, back in the day, but yeah, look him. So, um, Michelle, hey, how you doing? I'm going to explain my background and stuff later on. But anyway, I want to do this for Michelle. She left me a long message, and um, I read each and every word. I'm sorry, y'all. I apologize. It's cream. I'm trying to stay in front of the lights. I don't, I don't want to blind you guys. So all the information about everything that's going on here is going to be in, another, in the next video. But this is for Michelle, like I just said. So let me start running my mouth. She wanted to know, you know. She um, First of all, thank you, baby, for, um, for the blessings on my birthday. I had a wonderful birthday. I really did. I really, really, really did. Thank you for that. And may God continue to bless me. He is blessing me. Y'all just don't know. Thank you for that. And um, once again, she was just saying that she she looked forward to my look of Fridays. She lay in her bed and she listen. She listen. She lay in her bed and she listened to her music. She's forty two, and she's fighting. Yeah, I know I'm gonna mess. I'm gonna mess it up. I think she's saying sarcoidosis, complications from steroids. She need two hip replacements. Yeah, she need two hip replacements, you guys. Um, she's in a wheelchair right now, and she can no longer walk. Becoming disabled, and I'm reading her comment from on my computer right here, you guys. Becoming disabled, young, you quickly learn who your learn who your true friends are. I'm a diva on wheels. I love makeup, and I collect makeup. She have over a thousand nail polishes, but you need to send me some. I'm just playing. She love her smell goods like any woman should. Um, I, again, I apologize for my up in the camera. I'm trying to keep the light from you guys. So, um, basically, she's saying that um, she's been in the funk. She rarely do her makeup, her nails. And she's been saving her smell goods. Um, of course, she's in. Of course, she's in pain a lot. I know about that. Okay. Um. She's a single mom of, of four with two young adults, uh, two young adults. She's lost herself along the way. I can understand that. Um, so she just wanted to know, I'm just, I'm just reading. She also enjoy her hookah and her hookah pins and She's really trying to quit the cigarettes. Yes, baby. You need to quit the cigarettes. And this, um, when I smoke these people, like, well, how's it working? Is it helping you stop smoking? Well, I don't do this stop smoking. I just do it to... Just to do something, you know what I'm saying? So, if it, I think the um, EC, they have like a slight taste of nicotine in I think that is the one that um, really helps you guys to stop smoking. Um... She do her hooker pin. She have a drenching into her music. Yeah, yeah, baby, you must be a Virgo. Yeah, you know how we do it, girl. And um, hold on, I'm going to the next comment. Um, she wanted me to know that because of watching my videos, she would put on some makeup on Fridays. Put on her cute pajamas. Have her son pull out her deeper cup. Put on some of her smell good. Ignore the kids. Close her door. You're going to have to do that sometimes. Especially your kids. This claim if your kids are no toddlers or whatever, you need to take care of your kids. But if your kids are old enough to go get their own water, their own food, they'll be okay. But again, use your own discretion and don't, and don't be like what uh, CK68 told me to um, abuse my kids and close the door. And that's why they got a potty. They got a diaper rash. I ain't say all of that. Hell to the no. I didn't say all of that, okay? So, um, <laughs> yeah, her kids are older. And, um, and she listened to her big sis. And she wanted to thank me. 
can you tell me how I can stop feeling so consumed until it feels like it's nothing left of me at the end of the day and guilty for my illness? I'm a cut. I apologize, y'all. I want to cut down. I want to make sure you guys can hear me. Well, as you can see, I'm in my diva room. I'm in my bedroom. Um, my drink, my hookah, my music. And even though I'm getting up in age, I still love all types of music. Even though I don't play all types of music, you guys know when I have my television on, it, ha it has music on it. I have direct TV, I think. He always changes something. But um, I listen to country music. I listen to rap music. I listen to jazz. I listen to slow classic music. I listen to disco. I listen to it all. So... How to stop feeling so consumed? Let me tell you something. You have to take care of yourself first. And I've said this in plenty of my videos. You have to take care of yourself first. Again, disclaimer. If you have toddlers, small babies, you had them babies, you made them babies, you need to take care of them babies, okay? But if your babies are of age where they can go in there and make their take their get their own juice. With Lauren and my and my son was you no know, getting up in age, I would um, you know. When they when I realize they can open up, open up the refrigerator in case someone else is listening and have small kids. As soon as your kids can open up the refrigerator, just like the rest of your home, you need to baby proof your refrigerator. You want to make sure all of the glass items is up high, of course, where they can't reach it, all of the alcoholic beverages. Now we have everything in their reach. Whenever, wherever I think they can reach in the refrigerator at, that is only where I will have stuff that's you no know, approved for them. The juice. Um, my son loved like cheese, bologna, just hot wieners, walking around with wieners, just snacks in reach. You need to make sure that you take care of yourself first. Again, disclaimer, I ain't going to keep saying that y'all have some common sense, okay? So you need to take care of yourself first. Y'all know me. If you don't know me, I'm disabled. I don't look like it people because i guess i still get flat and that's, that's another video i think i'm gonna do i just got some more flat again from a constable for my handicap placard but i have my handicap placard um legally 45 years old i am disabled from a work-related injury i have so many ailments going on you'll never know unless i tell you and i've decided when i had to retire disability for my job I decided that I wanted to live my life still there's a lot of things you can do to you know switch switch things around there's ways you can organize your home or whatever to um to make it work for you but get back to you first of all take care of yourself first if you're not happy your kids are not happy your spouse will not have would not be happy no one in your household will be happy unless you take care of you first um, but I was saying before um, of course, I don't work. I work out a lot. So basically during the week, I look like who did it and whatever. That's why I decided to do a little quick different hairstyle for the weekend just to be doing something. Um, come Monday, it's going to be sweated out and it doesn't matter because this is some Milky Way hair and it's going to, it's gonna, I'm, I'm going to get all of my $10 worth out of it. Put it like that, okay? So I make sure that Fridays, Saturdays, and sometimes on Sundays, I do what makes me happy because I give... Even though I'm disabled, still I give the rest of the week to my family and me also, of course. But it's like having a job because I never had weekends off at my job. So it's like, okay, you know, how you hear people on on YouTube or whatever. Not YouTube, but Facebook, Instagram. Ooh, ooh Friday. Ooh, thank God it's Friday. Hump day. You know, I didn't know what none of that stuff means. Thank God it's Friday. I work on the weekends. But now I don't have to work again. I don't have to work anymore. I take advantage of that, okay? I do what makes me happy as you can see again I said I'm in my room my phone I, um, I'm in my room I'm playing my rap music my daughter's not you know, around because of the cursing or whatever this is what I want to listen to I don't give a damn when nobody say you're too old this is what I want to listen I want to listen to some Lil' Kim right now so in the minute I'm gonna listen to some Marvin Gaye or some Phyllis Hyman or something else later on. But right now I wanna listen to some Lil Kim. I wanna put on me some makeup. I don't do all that makeup, so y'all know me. I put on a little little rouge or blush or whatever y'all call it and some little um lip line and stuff. You know, 
Do what makes you happy. I when you look good, you feel good. Michelle, you already know that. When you look good, you feel good. So I don't care if you are in a wheelchair or in, in your bed. I like you just said, put on your smell good, take your a good shower or a good bath or whatever you, you need to do. Put on your good smell goods. Put on your accessories every Friday. Unless I'm I'm sick or asleep like I was last Friday. Until I won them concert tickets. That's another video. But unless I'm just out, out of and I just like, okay, this Friday I'm chilling. I get up and I put on my accessories, my clothes, do my nails. Like I'm finna really go somewhere. So every Friday, when my husband stopped asking me, like, cause he know I ain't finna go nowhere. But he used to be like, what, what, what's going on? Where you going? I ain't going nowhere. But I walk around here, show up, it's a tag. Casket, show up, whatever you want to call it. Like I'm finna go somewhere. I ain't going nowhere. I basically stay ready so I don't have to get ready in case I decide... I'm going to go across the street to the Mexican restaurant and have me a sangria, margarita or something, some chips and dip. You know, I've done it before, hook a pen, just to get out of the house. I, you never know. But you need to act like the weekend is really, thank God it's Friday. Even though, again, you're disabled, you don't have to work, you need to get out of that rut that you're in. I started Thursday getting ready for today. I didn't know I was going to record videos until a couple of hours ago. I've been out running errands and recording and stuff all day. And um, just in case, like I said, I started on Thursday doing my nails and hair and stuff. And just getting ready just in case. Um, as far as um, at the end of the day and, and at the end of the day and, and guilty for my illness, you should never ever feel guilty for your illness. You can't control that, okay? Talk to your family like I did and, I, and they know what I can and what I can't do. Don't expect what, things for me that I that I did, that I I used to do. I can't do all of that stuff anymore. All of that cooking and stuff. You know, I be on camera sometimes showing you guys cooking videos. But, you know, it's a lot behind the scenes you guys don't see. My daughter be helping me prepare those meals. My husband and my son, if he's here, they're helping me prepare those meals. If they're not here, um, I either don't do it or I trying to figure out and find ways to do it where I won't hurt my back, where I won't have to do a lot of lifting, a lot of bending or whatever. Of course, in a wheelchair, you're much more limited than than I am. But, you know, you know how to be creative, I can tell. You know how to be creative. You know how to make it work for you. And once again, I don't care what's going on when it come, when Friday comes, Thursday night, get ready for Friday. I don't care if you just sit in your bed or in your wheelchair looking at me on YouTube. Hopefully you can look at me on, on your computer because I'm playing a CD right now. So they always, you know, get on, get on me about playing CD. So I'm going to be switching to Slacker Radio soon. But I don't care what it is you want to do. Within reason, without, you know, hurting your kids or whatever. Close your doors. You, got, you already know. Hopefully you should know about the signs I made. Uh, this door enters my room. It says sleep. When they sign on the door, they don't have to come in here don't bother me. I have another one. It was on this door, my bathroom going into the other part of the house. That one says, I think, um, do not disturb or whatever. When that sign is up there, don't bother me. And again, I have two kids. My son is grown in his 20s. My daughter is 13. So, hey, I don't have no babies to take care of right now. So, well, right now, but, yeah. Close yourself off in your room. Like you some incense, some candles, get your drink, whatever. And do whatever it is that makes you happy. I don't care what kind of music you like. Blast it. That's what makes you happy. I'm telling you guys, no matter what's going on, when you look good, you feel good. So, that's how you got, that's how I got out of my rug. There's a lot of things going on. Like I said, I don't talk about with you guys on YouTube. There's a lot of stuff going on in my life right now. It's not bad or anything, of course. You know, just, you know, just being a woman, you know, PMS and all that old bull crap and just life. But, um, like I said, last Friday I didn't record. I want to make sure damn well this Friday I record. Whether my lighting is off or whatever, I apologize. I want to record regardless. So, Michelle, I hope I have helped you. And once again, if you, um, for you ladies that's watching this video, that's why I love YouTube. Leave your comments and, and let her know if I left out anything. But Michelle, baby.
You gotta do what makes you happy, Ma. I don't care if you just spend an hour or two in your room on Friday. Or oh, all night, just in here jamming, listen to my old videos, hookah, sipping, smoking, whatever you wanna do, okay? You grown. 42 years old, baby, you grown. I don't care what it is in that room that you're doing. Well, I'm gonna say disclaimer, uh, you know, again, you grown, but you got kids and all of this stuff, you don't wanna be. I don't edit on the hill because I'm on my iPod, but it keeps it the, the drug activities and all of that stuff. Don't be shooting up and stuff and I it ain't that serious. That's what that's what I'm trying to put it out there. It ain't that serious. No, don't be shooting up no goddamn crack and, and, and meth and all of that stuff. It, it, don't do that. Mm -mm. Don't do that. Nah. Get you a little hookah pen and get you a little black and mild or something. You know, take your little pain pill and, and then kick it in. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. It, <laughs> <laughs> that black and mild to kick it in. And I know, I, I know you're trying to stop smoking, but yeah, you you know you know what to do. You know what, what to do and what not to do. But 21 minutes, but that's okay. Cause you two let me record a little bit longer now. So I hope this helped your mama, Michelle. Take care, of you. Let me in this video uploaded to you, and I'll be I'll be right back. I'll holler.